trying to tell you that Armageddon is finna happen and we ain't got no Bruce Willis and you focused on how I'm breathing? Like what the heck? What's up, it's Nikki. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be reviewing the Netflix movie don't look up which follows two astronomers trying to warn the world that a life ending comet will hit in six months but between a president who is played amazingly by Mel Street, more concerned with upcoming midterms and a public that is easily distracted by social media and swayed by mass media our astronomers who are played by jennifer lawrence and leonardo dicaprio come to find the task of warning the world and actually doing something about the comet to be a frustrating and impossible task now this is not my kind of movie i am not much of a fan of the comedy genre which is always a surprise to people because i'm so jokey and jovial However, I decided to branch out and give this movie a try and I was pleasantly surprised. It didn't suck. It wasn't a crappy movie and they actually piqued my interest right at the very beginning when they put a quote on screen that said, I want to die peacefully in my sleep like my grandfather, not screaming in terror like his passengers. I was like, what the heck? Wait, what? Because at first, they didn't show the full quote. They just put the top, oh, I want to die peacefully in my sleep like my grandfather. And I was like, oh, okay, that's sweet. So that's the tone of the movie. But then they put the rest and I was like, wait, huh? This movie is much more satire than straight comedy. And I can get on board with the satire. Still not the biggest fan of it but i felt like this script was really smart in my opinion one thing i was tripping on was the planetary defense office i was like wait that's real child humans ain't got nothing to do like we don't have nothing to do who are we defending the planet against exactly <laughs> but the thing that really killed me was that the petty criminal from daredevil is the head of the planetary defense i was like wait what you was just selling guns at the back of the truck okay no but for real the actor was he did really well but i was tripping yo why did they have his hair look like that it was horrific why did the planetary defense guy look like he was in a completely different decade than all the other characters okay <laughs> Meryl Streep for me was a highlight. She was so great. Her performance was so brilliant in my opinion. It was done just so well without being over the top, like over the top in a bad way. I love Leonardo DiCaprio as an actor in general. I always enjoy his movies. His performance in Don't Look Up was so freaking good. Like this nigga be at ting acting you hear me when he was being all nervous and jittery yo it seemed so real it did not come off like he was performing when they have the scene where leonardo blows up on a talk show man that monologue was so great that scene of his breakdown on that talk show that was some freaking good acting. That was just an amazing scene. Also, Jonah Hill was a delight as Meryl Streep's son. But the surprise in the movie for me, performance-wise, was Jennifer Lawrence. Now, I might be late to the party, but I ain't never paid much attention to her. Like, I, somebody bring up Jennifer Lawrence. I really don't care about her. But she was really great in this. I was like, oh, shoot. When they have the dang SWAT team swarm her, that was great. Then when they are all back at the White House and Leonardo and everyone starts cheering because the president finally wants to work with them against the comment because at first they're not really taken seriously. I love when Jennifer Lawrence's character steps in and just tells it like it is. Like, you got some bad press. So now you want to do something about the comment. I just really loved her in this movie. In this movie. Her performance was just so good. It was so spot on. I loved how... 
Everything was shot. I love the writing. I love the performance. It was just all really great filmmaking. My favorite part of this movie was how <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence character could not let go of that dang general charging them for free snacks at the White House. I loved how that just kept getting subtly tossed in. It reminded me actually of that episode of Seinfeld when Jerry goes out on a date with a girl who every time he see her, she wear the same dress. And then he see a picture of her from like 10 years prior and she got the same dress on. And he like, why do you wear the same dress every day? Anyway, <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked, but that's what that reminded me of. It was just so, I don't know, like it was just so good. Just, it was a lot of just, little details in this movie that I thought was really really put, put together it was just really so brilliant and I liked it and like that part and it was so real because when the general first tells them that the snack and water is ten dollars tell them I was tripping I was like nigga I can't get free water at the White House nigga y'all can't just give me some pretzels and some water I've been paying taxes since I was 14, working a job, and y'all making me pay for snacks and water at the what? Like, I was tripping when it happened, but then when it's revealed that it's free, I was so perplexed. Like, why the hell did a general con these niggas out of $10 for, for free snacks and water? So the fact that she kept harping on it was killing me. But, guys... Just the art of filmmaking in this movie was so good. Even if I was not consistently impressed throughout the movie just watching it, I was consistently impressed with the little details of the film. Like how during the first meeting at the White House, the director of the movie hones in on like little details on Meryl Streep and others while we're in that room. The pictures of the president with celebrities to show us like a picture being painted of our presidential character. The still shots when they have the launch. I freaking loved that. Just so many great ideas executed so brilliantly. Don't Look Up was shot so well. They just really executed some great ideas. Like they did. The scene of them finally delivering the news to the president and to Jonah Hill, for me, that was so brilliant. They were killing me. This was just shot so well and played out so well. Like, I'm watching it and I'm sitting here like, nigga, I'm trying to tell you that Armageddon is finna happen and we ain't got no Bruce Willis and you focused on how I'm breathing? Like, what the heck? And the way Jonah Hill played it, just, I don't know. It was good. It was really good. Y'all, oh, my nigga, what was with that badge creator stuff? Life without the stress of living? What the heck was that? Yo, the guy who invented badge and the scene with them kids, I was like, what in Jesus' name? That was the epitome of F them kids. <laughs> Yo, but can somebody tell me if this billionaire is based off of anyone in real life? Like, who is his character a parody of? The, the inventor, corporate millionaire guy, he talked so creepy and he was so weird and so ridiculous. I just want to know if he based off of anybody in real life. Because I can kind of get who Meryl Streep and her son was based off of. The internet and the viral moments in the movie were so smart. The look up versus the don't look up slogan. The actor wearing the up and down pin. <laughs> the conspiracy theories that pop up because of the comment story. Yo, like, y'all, this script is just brilliant. Do y'all realize how much this movie is making fun of all of us? Oh, yeah, Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry. Nah, child Tyler Perry for me is a bit of a joke. He a bit of a joke when it comes to his, like, child, I can't. Did y'all see that Jack Reacher film he did? Child, that was the worst moments of my life. I can't believe I sat through that whole movie. And I got burnt all over my body as a toddler, but that movie was the worst, most painful moment of my life. <laughs> okay, I'm being dramatic. Wait, no, sorry, not Jack Reacher. I'm tripping. It was, uh, Alex Cross. Alex Cross. That was so painful to watch. When I saw Tyler Perry pop up in Those Who Wish Me Dead movie, child, I laughed and I laughed. Child, I laughed. I just cannot take him seriously. But 
I really like Tyler Perry in this movie. I was very impressed. Tyler Perry did great. Kudos to him. The casting of this movie was was pretty spot on. Now, I did start getting really bored at about 50 minutes in, and I was spacing out a bit even before that 50 minutes. I don't know if it's because this isn't really my type of genre, so I can't really stomach it for too long, but I didn't think it needed to be two hours long, and I am not one of those people who hate long movies. I'm a fan of long movies when the filmmakers utilize the entire runtime and it doesn't feel lagging or feel like filler the segment with the pop star and the dj on the talk show just them kind of didn't hit for me um i didn't need that long behind concert i get it but i did not need that part to be so long i didn't need that song i didn't need the convo and the uh, the conversations and the affair with kate blanchett and uh leonardo dicaprio they could have edited all that out. The conversation where they having they get to know me talk, the wife finding them at the hotel. I don't know. I just didn't care about it. I was I was bored. I was scrolling Instagram. I wasn't really paying much attention. I didn't need it for the plot of the film. Some moments were a little mundane and the pacing was a bit too slow. Some stuff I felt like it just wasn't needed. But I did perk up when I saw uh ron perlman when they had him shooting at the comment and yelling you'll never take me alive that was gold i love him but meryl streep leaving her son forgetting jonah hill come on now come on now come on that was good that was so crazy now when we get to the ending we get a complete shift in the tone of the movie. The collage they show as the comet is about to hit, uh, that was kind of depressing for me. The poor animals, the poor dumb humans, and then the house getting destroyed around them while at the dinner table. Y'all, yeah, that was sad. I will cry so easily watching movies. I'm just that person. I didn't cry on this night, y'all. But there was a little ping in my heart. That final dinner with everyone as the comment hits, that was just so great. That scene was amazing. Seeing the how it was just shot so well. It was dark, but that was shot so well. But y'all, as I was watching, I was like, so wait, uh, we died? This was so depressing. I could have sworn I read something years ago that said dark endings do not test well. So then we see the earth rebuilding itself and we see the rich and the idiot survive on this space pod thing. But y'all, what we could wear in the clothes in the pod? In the movie Aliens, they at least was in their underwear in them little pods. So we got a dark ending to the story, but the movie doesn't turn off and leave you with just sad feelings the final scenes aren't sad Meryl Streep gets jacked up by this giant bird monster thing now who would walk up to something that looked like that I don't know because I would have left that nigga alone but <laughs> the movie ends on a more comedic tone don't look up was top tier acting top tier acting i can appreciate some good acting it was top tier filmmaking superb casting now i know i have spent much of this video raving about the movie but i cannot say this was a great movie i cannot say i really i can't say it was funny i didn't laugh not even one time throughout the entire movie i was amused i was tripping out and a lot of stuff, like in the movie, I thought was good. I was entertained for the most part, but I was bored a lot. A lot of stuff I felt like could have been edited out. I would give this movie a solid 4.5 out of 10. I'm sorry. I can't say this is like better than the average movie. But for people who are fans of the genre, I can see how they could rave about it and would love it. I was pretty bored uh, a lot of it. But I could still appreciate great filmmaking, even if I can't rave about like the movie. I just wasn't the biggest fan of it. I was bored a lot in this movie, but I appreciate solid filmmaking. I do think this was a really smart idea. I think this was a really smart satire. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you like my content, please make sure you support the channel. 
like this video and comment down below let me know your thoughts so we can have a discussion on the movie did you agree with me did you disagree did you love this movie and were you not bored at all let's talk about it guys make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification for more movie reviews i'll see you in the next video thank you